all right y'all boys so the game just released for everyone to play and i know some of you guys are looking for the best characters to use in dragon ball sparking zero you came to the right place now this is my personal opinion of who i feel like the best character is in this game who i've seen using rank play or just in general now for the first character man this is probably one of the most used characters in this game i'm telling you if you get used to this game and you play ranked a lot you're gonna see this face get used to it i'm just telling you right now it is what it is this man is insanely broken now first we have super saiyan 4 gogeta so we have his first skill man this skill is called wild sense this allows you to auto dodge basically and counter attack your opponent while this is activated for his second skill we have power up to the very limit this basically allows you to go in sparking mode instantly and you will get every single buff in the game this you only have to activate this bro if you're playing somebody very toxic like are you scared you're gonna lose you would have to pop this man. he has the big kamehameha blast and this does damage too you can hold you can also hold it as well i think yeah you can hold it hold it for a very long time but i only really do this move like out of a combo i don't just do that just off the base and for his last move we have one of these rush attacks this is called ultimate impact you just literally charge at him and just beat him down bro that's literally all you do and his combos are pretty fast too so if you're not sure man on what character to use you could go with this character this is one of the top characters right now and if you guys do not believe me bro i literally like will check the character rankings and show you guys this is one of the most used characters in this game oh it's 11 percent of people that use this man in single battles that's a normal rank and then for the higher ranks bro he's number two so that tells you that this man is good in high comp games bro so if you don't know who to pick you could go my boy gogeta the second best character in this game man we have the ultra instinct goku now when i tell you guys this character man is super broken he has an auto dodge as well and it's called ultra movement to activate the ultra movement you literally just have to stand still and you'll be able to auto dodge everything that your opponent is trying to do and then you'll be able to counter attack them bro and just go crazy for goku's second skill we have the no backing down skill this skill uses three bars but you'll be able to go into the sparking mode instantly and you'll be able to get every single buff in the game and when i mean you're in this state you will just be able to just beat on your opponent like he's not gonna do nothing like it's impossible bro while goku also has a kamehameha as well that you can hold down and do a lot of damage with next we have ui's goku ultra barrage and this move is like undodgeable bro you cannot dodge this move you could be anywhere around the map and you could just instantly teleport to your opponent and then just go crazy and just hit them and it's just like a barrage of attacks and they just get punched on and that is ultra instinct goku man so if you want to use this character and go crazy in the game man and rank then i feel like you should use this dude because like i said he is one of the second best characters in single battle and just in general low key in the game like this man is just super annoying and usually people that pick him they be as aggressive as hell like i don't know what it is about ui gokus that play this game they always just be hella aggressive but the next character we have is hit man now hit he is very annoying in this game and you will see this dude a lot i believe hit was also good in xenoverse 2 a lot of people was using him back then and he's still good now but his first skill is called key clone the skill uses two bars and you'll be able to dodge any single attack that's coming to you but you won't be able to dodge key blast for his next skill we have this move it's called time skip now this move allows you to teleport behind your opponent and just beat on them like this move is also very annoying because i think he has another time skip move but it puts you in a cutscene for hits first blast move this is called assassin art this move is pretty quick You'll be able to do a key blast at your opponent and it's like super small. Like I don't, you wouldn't even know that the key blast hits you. That's how small it is. For hits last blast move, we have time skip jump spike. And oh my gosh. When I tell you so many people will spam this move and rank, man, you will like you will get hit by this move. And you wouldn't even know like you got hit by it, bro. Like it's just so annoying to do. Like you could do this from anywhere, I believe, too. Like you could be far away from here. And all they gotta do is just time skip and they can instantly just rush to you and just beat on you like i hate this move so much but it's so good in the game now next up we have a character man that is probably one of my favorites as well i've been using him a lot recently in ranked play and that is beerus bro and i tell y'all beerus is goaded in this game now for beerus's first skill this move is called sleep this will put you in a state and you'll be able to get like maybe one or two skill bars back i believe and he also has another move called verdict of destruction 
is to put you in a sparking mode state and you will be able to just, you know, go crazy like just, huh, huh, you know what I'm saying? You will be in a sparking mode state and this man combos are already super fast. So like having this activated, bro, like look how you just, look how I'm just doing this dude. For Beerus's first blast, this move is called Spirit Destruction. You just throw a little ball at them, boom, hit that. It does a little damage. Then he has another move. It's called Hawkeye of Destruction. You just rush at them. And he does a little yawn. Yep. Boom. Kick up in the air. Boom. Where you going? He's not done. Boom. Thump you on the head. And he fall, bro. For this next character, man, I literally found out that he was broken on stream. I was playing against my friend Trey. And he was literally trying to hit me, bro. And I don't know. Broly just has a lot of super armor. Not just this version. This is the super version. But also the other version. I'm going to show you guys the other version of Broly as well. Because they're both very good. But... With this version, man, it has his first skill is called Wild Move, and you'll be able to teleport behind them and just beat on them, bruh. You know, doing your little combos or whatnot. And then he has another move called Untamed Instinct. This gives you sparking mode for 15 seconds. He powers up. He's in that sparking mode state. And you get three buffs. So you will be able to lock in and go crazy with the three buffs. Just boom. 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 Boom, like it's a non-stop thing. And look how much damage I'm doing, bro. Just look at the health bar. Now for Broly's blast move, he has this little beam that he does it's called Gigantic Cannon. He has this big old beam, charges at you, it does damage. I had to turn on the, <laughs> the max health bar for this dude, Go Tanks, bro, because he was just getting beat on. I had to turn on the max health bar for this man, Gohan, because I damn near killed this man. No, I literally had to turn on the max health for this dude, Gohan, because I was almost gonna kill this dude, but he has this another move for Broly's last skill. It is called Blaster Meteor, and it's just a little ball that he wraps himself around. And when you get hit by this, you will just take a lot of damage. But I feel like this move is easy to dodge. Now, the other Broly I showed you guys was the full Super Saiyan Power version. This is the legendary Super Saiyan one. And I feel like this one is located a little bit better. Both Broly's, like, since they're so, like, tanked out, bruh, like, all their combos are slow, but... The power makes up for it. Like, just, like, look, you would just, you wouldn't even know you really finna kill your opponent until you look at their health bar and you'd be like, damn, they on like two bars or like they have one bar left. Cause this man does so much damage alone just from the base attacks that he, do, he does. For Broly's first skill move, this move is called Explosion Wave. And all this move does, it allows you to create a key explosion to blow your opponents away if you're being attacked. You could do this if you're being attacked or not so like if they're near you or like rushing you you just do this to get them up off you or if they're hitting you, you just boom next for broly's second skill this move is called kakarot this puts you in a sparking mode state for 15 seconds and you will be able to get three buffs and like i said before you'll be able to pound with this character just doing this over and over again boom you will be doing a lot of damage with it. For Broly's first blast, this move is called Eraser Cannon. It's just him charging up a key blast and just throwing it at you. And for his last move, this is called Gigantic Hammer. Now for Broly's last move, this move is called Gigantic Hammer. You have to be in a medium slash like close to range. You cannot be too far. Otherwise, this move will not hit. But you have to be like maybe like right here. And you just charge at them. Being a madman, you grab them. Throws you up in the air. Boom. Charge at you, boom, hit you in your mouth, and you know, that's it. <laughs> Next, we have this man, Vegito, and this is one of my favorite characters to use in online. If I'm not using Trunks, I am using Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. One thing about Vegito, though, he only has just straight attack buffs. He doesn't have any kind of defensive buffs. Like, he doesn't have nothing else. It's just straight attack buffs and key blast buffs. But if you know how to use this man, you will go crazy with him. His first move is called Settling the Score. And it's literally a attack buff and key blast buff. I think that's I think that third one is maybe a defense buff. I don't know what that symbol is, but you just get like a just attack buff, man. And he's insanely strong. Like except for Gito's second skill, this move is called full power charge. And when I tell y'all this move is super helpful and online, this move has saved me at least maybe three or four times. You will activate this move basically when your key gauge is low. So if you have low key gauge and you can't like do anything, you can't you can't teleport, you can't do nothing. You will activate this and you will get all of your bars back. Like you will get every single bar back and you can continue to be in the fight. So you can just keep pounding, going crazy, bruh. 
and like this move has literally saved me maybe like a lot of times especially in online and for vegeto's first blast this move is called god kamehameha you can hold the kamehameha like i showed you guys for the goku you can literally hold it and do the same thing and do damage now for vegeto's last blast move this move is called mega finishing blow you can be anywhere on the map and you charge at him boom he's doing damage and i tell y'all this man has crazy attack buffs if you're an aggressive player this this is for you i'm telling you because i am kind of an aggressive player in this game like i don't like letting people charge you to do nothing i just want to push you and just keep fighting so having these attack buffs is very helpful for this character the next character we have goji the blue right here and for his first move it's called instant transmission i like a lot of characters that get instant transmission because you'll be able to teleport right to your opponent being able to get hits off you just boom you could really just spam this if you have all your skills you'll be able to just spam this if you want because you get two of them gogeta's next skill this move is called stardust barrier and this allows you to create a barrier defending attacks against your opponent well i'm gonna make the bot do something to me so i could like literally absorb the a move hold on give me a second oh we had this on right and he's gonna try to do a move i absorb it like look he's gonna try to do something again right watch this watch this watch this, watch this, watch this. don't come near me dude just do something Give me that! <laughs> I <Like>, look. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Next for Gogeta's Blue's first blast. This move is called Stardust Blaster. And basically, he charges up a key and he throws it at you. Boom, eat that. And it does a pretty much a decent amount of damage. And for Gogeta Blue's last blast move, this move is called Meter Explosion. He basically charges up at you. Boom, eat that. Huh. Huh. Look at the animation, bruh. Look at the animation. Huh. Eat that boy. I'm gonna be using this dude online. He, he go crazy, I ain't gonna lie. Like I said before, if you are an aggressive player like how I am, Vegito Blue and Gogeta Blue are the two most perfect characters for you, man. Like I said, they both go crazy and rank. Yeah, let's get on to the next character. Next shot, boys, we have this man, Jiren, and this is one of those characters where if I see you using them in online, I'm leaving, I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> Jiren, bro, He's very annoying in this game. For Jiren's first skill, this skill is called Keep Pressure. It's kind of like the same thing with Broly's move. It's literally to get your opponent up off you if they're attacking you or if they're shooting something at you, just boom, get it up off you. And then for his second skill is Meditation. You have to use this move like cautiously. So you probably have to hit your opponent a few times to get them up off you. And then when they're falling, you just activate this and it's like for five seconds, you do get health back from this. And you get four of these as well. For Jiren's first blast, this move is called Power Impact. It's just him shooting a key blast at you. It does a good amount of damage if it's an actual person. And then for his last move is called Infinity Rush. He literally rushes you no matter where you at on the map. This move does use three bars, so you cannot follow up with this move. And this man during combos is extremely fast, bro. Even in his base state, like his, his state is pretty good to use. But when he's full power, bro, I'm telling y'all this man is super annoying when he's full power. Like, but his combos, look how fast his combos is right now. Just boom, 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 boom. And then now we're going to go in full power and then go over his other moves that's in full power as well. So telling y'all bro this man is very annoying you are gonna see him maybe a few times in rank play you go ahead and transform get up to that full power state for Jiren's first skill in full power his move is the same as a key pressure move when he's in his base state it's literally just him getting attacked or if somebody's shooting time at him he just boom just get it up off me and then for this next move it's literally called strength is obsolete and this gives you sparking mode for like I believe 15 seconds as well and then you know, be able to charge at them and since he's already fast bro like it just makes it more annoying to use him like he's already super fast you just combo and just go crazy in the sparking state you get a lot of buffs in this state. for Jiren's first blast in his full power state it's literally like the same thing when he's in his base form it's literally just a key blast he shoots at you Boom, and that key blast does curve as well. Now for this last move right here, it's kind of like how Broly move was with that big old barrier. If they're near you, you just activate this. You can boost if you want, and boom. Yeah, man, this dude Jiren overall is a very tough character. If you want to main him, you will dominate in online matches with this guy. And he has super fast combos. He can heal himself. Like, this is just your ideal character now for this next character man we have big boy topo bruh and when i tell y'all this man topo is very good he is such a good character 
this first skill it literally gives you three buffs i believe well, first one is a attack buff the second one is a key blast buff not i don't remember what the other one is but you get those three buffs and then he has another skill called hakai aura it's basically it's just like a, a barrier that you know defends himself to get him up off him boom and then he has his first blast it's literally a key blast I think both his moves are blast, I, if I'm not mistaken. Both his moves are blast. Yeah, Spear of Destruction is a blast too. Now for his combos, his moves are kind of slow, but they pack a punch, man. Y'all know how them big characters are, bro. They be hitting slow, man, but they be doing damage. Now it is big boy Topo, man. Like I said, he is a good character. If you want to go try him out in online matches, go ahead. Like I said, he is a good character. But the only thing about him is that he hits super slow. So if you don't like slow characters, this character isn't for you. But he does a lot of damage, bro, just off his hits. So if you can get hits off with this man, their health bar will be getting ate up by the minute just from you hitting him. Now for the last character on the list, man, we have Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose, man. I tell you, this is a very good character. I used him a few times. This man has a very good move set. And not only that, if you do not know how to get Goku Black, you literally just go and summon Shinron. And if you have Dragon Balls, you can't get him. So I believe for everybody that has the game, y'all literally can go like get him like right now as we speak. Cause you have, I think you already get Dragon Balls when you had a game, but you just go summon Shinron, you pick, I want more characters and they give you two options. The first option is, is Fuse Zamasu, if I believe. And then the second option is Goku Black. So you can't get this character already, but if you don't, if you don't have that option, you could just go play story mode and unlock him that way. Goku's Black first skill is instant transmission. Like I said, I like characters that have instant transmission on their moveset because I'm able to charge at them. And just boom like you can be anywhere you can be anywhere next to him on the map while you have that the second skill this literally is called audacious laugh and it puts you in a sparking state he just laughs and he's going in a sparking state and man you be able to go crazy bro just uh, 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 uh. now for goku's black first blast this move is called black kamehameha you can charge this up just like any other kamehameha Boom, and you be able to do damage. And I gotta turn that man bar up because I literally just killed him. <laughs> I did not mean to do it. For Goku's Black last move, this move is called Godly Display Slash. You basically pull out a sword and you wanna use this move after a certain hit. So you just wanna boom, boom. I don't even think you have to stun them. You just have to just hit them. You just have to hit them and then wait till they get up or whatever. And then boom, you charge at them. Because if you do it like off the base, I don't think it will hit. Yep, he pulls out that little sword and boom. Now these are the best characters to use in Sparking Zero, man. So if you are new to the game and you don't know what, who to use, you can literally just pick any character from this list, try every single one of them out. Let me know if they're good or not. But in my opinion, man, I feel like the top three characters that I chose were like the most fan favorite characters in this game because a lot of people do use them and they, you know, use them in rank a lot and they do go crazy. But let me know if I'm missing anybody on this list or who you think shouldn't be on this list because this is my opinion. And, I, you know, people probably had different opinions of, you know, what they think a character is just better or whatever. But it's me, your boy, Rizzis, man. I will see you guys in the next video, man. I'm out. Peace. I'm getting profit, he's still trying to fight it, not worry about mine, we'll get it regardless I'm getting tired, I hit you tomorrow, this hoe so fine, it'll fuck up my conscience Losing my mind, but I'm keeping my promise, I'm going down and I can't even